Hey, welcome. I've just downloaded Deviant Testing AMD64 of 3.61 gigabytes. And I'm gonna install it on my virtual box. See if the I can sneeze still some work the Sally I can sensor one. And in the meantime, have a look, right? So install advanced options, graphical expert install, graphical rescue mode, a lot of things we need to investigate later on maybe. And accessible high contrast installer menu is gonna be this okay so let's go for a graphical install English choose the language to be used I agree location I do not agree I guess another is better Europe Belgium and then the locales uh huh. I don't seem to have an other in this case. Uh, let's just take uh, United States, right? Yes, that's okay. And then the keyboard. That's for me important. Belgian Azerty, please. Detect and mount CD ROM, load the installer, and let's install this. In the meantime, you read all these packages if you can, it goes quickly. It has been a while since I've installed Debian. Debian is okay for me, continue. And then configure the network, I don't think that's necessary. Uh, no, I don't need that. Root password. Very complex root password. The same root password again to verify. Okay. Continue. User account will be created. That's me. That's also good. A password. Super difficult password. Continue. Some clock, some detect clock. Okay. In the meantime, while well, this thing is going, no, not going. Okay. The installer can guide you through the partitioning of a disk. Okay. So let's do a guided use entire disk. I just want to test out the icons. Okay. So what are we getting? We're getting an X4 for a root and a swap file 5.3, which can be correct because uh, although, yeah, it might be correct. We can check it out. How much memory did I give it? Uh, here, five. So yes, it's giving it a little bit more than memory. Um, space than the memory I have which seems logical right if you want to put your memory to hibernation and, and everything needs to go into the swap file it should be bigger than your memory so check a little bit bigger okay uh, I did a no I should have done a yes write the changes to disks yes so the extra careful so um, back to here, I was actually thinking how long ago Sally visited, how long ago was it that I installed Debian? So 96 ISOs have installed, all burnt with our favorite mint stick USB image writer that we have on Arc Linux. It's coming from Linux Mint and it's on the AOR. It's been there, been using it like five years, I think, or more. So, um, here it is, Debian 9.1. I don't know how long ago that was, but this was the last visit I had on Debian. Two thousand nineteen July, somewhere there. So it's one year ago. That's a good timing to visit a distro once a year. So I'm going to check if the Sardi and the Surfer icons are okay on Debian. Pausing the video, 
it was actually quite important just this just now 4.19 point something we're at 60 on Arch Linux Arch Linux that is I thought I saw 4.1905 was too quickly gone again I've just downloaded one CD I saw there were three CDs um, one is enough no 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 no, no. no. continue a network mirror can be used to supplement the software that can be okay maybe all right use a network mirror I wanted to say yes before they hold me continue configure the package manager close to me that's our mirror or mirrors or mirror D or mirror A and then it doesn't mean that it's going to be fast if I use the Belgian one, it really doesn't. But these are all Belgian guys. Usually debdeviant.org is okay. I'm gonna do that because I know from the past that's the fastest. Maybe something's changed, of course. Cannot access repository. There we go. Okay, fine. Just testing anyway. And he's upgrading already. Unpacking. Here it is 14.19.0.5 or dash 5. Mm -hmm. Popularity contest. Uh, no. Aha, here the fun starts. So there is this base probably that you can't put off. Oh, you can even, but I suppose I'm gonna need this one. And then let's have fun. I'm gonna really break the system. I know it's not a good thing to do, but I'm doing everything in one go. This particularly will interest me. We've just developed LXQT on Article Next. And we're not gonna develop LXDE, LXDE as a result of that. I'm not gonna web server. Okay, done. Let's continue. So GNOME, XFCE, Plasma, Cinema, Mate, Okay, continue. 2832 packages. I better pause the video here. A new question. Display Manager is a program that provides graphical login capabilities. So at Arc Linux we use LightDM, SDDM is for Plasma, GDM is for GNOME, not strictly spoken, but normally it's, it's these two are interlinked. But I'm gonna take LightDM since we're used to that and see how that uh, looks on Debian. Pausing again. So, it was taking so long, I went shopping and I'm coming back. And let's continue the rest. Install the grab bootloader on a hard disk. Yes, please. Continue. Install the group bootloader on a hard disk. Yes. Uh, this one. Enter device manually. Okay, this one. Grab install the device SDA, normal procedure. Some clocks and stuff. Installation complete. We can continue. Okay, finishing the installation. And we're off. This is Grub 4.190-5. Resuming from hibernation. Mm. I saw something about Plymouth in there. Didn't see anything really. So this is LightDM before I go in. So things that are present is, these are all my desktops that are present. And this is the accessibility. And it's time to enter, which should we enter first? Just alphabetically maybe, from Cinnamon at the top. Clip it can save your history, no. This is all the, always the um, general pop-up. Uh, people ask me all the time, hey, when did you fix this? You don't need to fix this. Running a software rendering method 
just install it on real metal you won't be seeing it again just don't keep working on virtual boxes ESR is in here special kind of Firefox let's go to that one click here let's go to that one click here let's download this one save do this automatically okay that's here now this one I accept files I always go to the files to be sure I get the very very last one If you have problems downloading, click on this one. It shows all the servers you can go. I can get this from Japan and wait for an hour or so. Or I can get this for, from a closed server and add an inch E. So both of them are there. Don't need these guys. Extract here, that's one thing. Extract here, that's the other thing. then later on I'm gonna need a control H dot icons folder which is not present Let's create new folder dot icons there's also possibility to put your themes in here dot themes just so you know Whoop, that goes in here and all the servants go in here that's the point for the testing. Let's go to the configuration panel of Cinnamon. If it was a configuration panel of Cinnamon. And otherwise we take themes and start up. I I I That's not a good thing. So I've installed different desktops in one go. Usually that gives a problem with some kind of elements, some of the elements. Normally I wouldn't think this would be an issue for changing the icons, but it does. So he's not booting up. Uh, cancel. Log out. Let's log out. Let's take another one. Ah, maybe this one. Number two in the line. Yeah, two choices software rendering. We'll see a nice pop up. Probably. We'll see. Nope. He's not ready to open this one up. The control center. That's cinnamon control center. Huh. Okay. That is a bit strange because it has around hmm, 15 to 20 icons. I guess cinnamon is out. Look out. All right. Gnome. They'll probably conflict with each other. But as long as some of them work, I'm happy. So, appearance is it here. It is here. I need to be able to set it to Advaita is not my choice. Okay, what's going on? Files Ctrl H dot icons everything looks normal. 
Why are they not in here? Because I had to look in here. Eric. Eric. Sardi. Flexible arc is the one I select normally. Let's have a look. So clip it is a bit strange. All the rest looks blue. That's the point of the test. Uh -huh. Feather notes is not looking as it should be. File manager, let's open him up. And go to how uh, was it again? Ah, I'll do it like this. Go into user share applications. This one. And here we see all the stuff that I need to do. Regardless what desktop I'm gonna use, these are the things I need to fix. Now this feather note, let's have a look. We can open it with lots of things, but not with sublime text. With Kate, Kate is from Plasma. And when I type something in here, it can also write text in here. So that's what I like about it. I want to be able to write with a editor that is can overwrite in protected parts. So feather notes, gonna write that down for to do later on. So I have this GitHub on Eric Dubois, Sardi. I put my things that I find in here, all the things that I still have to make, or all kind of distro. We try to make uh, icons for all Linux distros out there. But um, if you want to have an icon, you should report it there. Meteor QT, something I should check out. Kate. Meteor QT. Pausing. Alright, what else? Uh, discards. So, these guys are not important. These guys will never show up in the menu. But the others will. This is a strange one, or maybe intentionally, because it's a policy authentication agent, so to so you're aware, mind you, you're changing things. This is an issue we're gonna change later. Kate, tell me, what is this? Mini Xterm might not have an icon for that. All right, written down. This one as well. Let's take Kate. Ah, it's the same one, mini term. So when I fix this one, the other one is fixed as well, by the way. A little bit of teaching. You go to Kate. And then just type the mini go by mini. Save. Voila, Xterm, that's all I'm gonna do. Make a nice little link, symbolic link to LNS thingy to Xterm. So from mini Xterm to Xterm. That's all it needs. And then we have this nice look. Python, we don't see this in the menu, menu so we don't care. But this one needs to be fixed. Meteor probably have something regarding weather or something, some weather icon probably have that but I'm gonna make a link to meet you whether let's see if it's that, that fixes things I have something but it's not mine so we'll, we'll figure it out later there's a feather note something about writing maybe you have an icon that's called write or something but I'll make a proper one for this guy just trying out some stuff Voila, something like that. So, anyway, that's um, one thing. What I want to share as knowledge as well is the printer. Remember, the printer is not good. And the clip it well, it's an old icon in design, anyway. Sundry, escape. And so. We don't see the printer, luckily, in this uh, desktop, but we may, may see it in another one. 
So I'm going to log out and venture my world to another desktop. So GNOME, 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 LXUD, and let's go for the, that one. So again, this is another desktop. Now, the fact that we have such a long list is because we have eight desktops. And if you're learning about desktop, this is not a good way. If you want to know what icons you should fix, this is the way. Okay, so this is not uh, the way you should do it, basically. Some kind of LXDE change my preferences. It's in here. There are KDE things in here. There, there are um, things in here for PC Man FM. All kinds of elements in here. And I would guess it's going to be in here, but that's just a guess. Just a guess. Open box. Is, is it will and maybe also working with open box. I don't know. These are themes, not icons. Let's not waste time figuring out where it is. Logouts. Nice little look. And then go to LXUT. Because we know already what kind of... Um, yeah, this this is quite specific to LXQT. On Arch Linux, we've made the decision to go for OpenBox. But if you combine it with XFC and LXQT, then it's going to know, hey, there are other default window managers you can use. So all these choices are here because I've chosen all the desktops. But normally, normally, it's OpenBox. All kind of messages we get as well. Nice. And then we're going to set our preferences. It's already containing these icons. So they have chosen already for icons. Was it in here? Was it appearance? Icon theme. So it's the papyrus icon that Devin has gone for. And that's good. It's a nice icon theme. And I want to set it back to Sardi Flexible Arc. Okay. Which gives us nothing in change here. Uh, should I log out? Hello. Did you try turning it off and on again? If you don't know what IT crowd is, please go and watch some videos on YouTube. It's probably overwritten. Configure panel. Overwrite icon theme. Don't do that. I want to have my set of icons. Oh, there you go. Boom. All blue icons. Again, a check. The Meteor QT, we know, written it down. No icons to be created. And I don't show you this, but for me it's the same. Surfen or um, Sardi is the same. I create them in one go. Surfen is looking a little bit more colorful because probably people will be thinking already hey they're all looking the same and I guess I should change it again here override icon theme let's do that <laughs> surf arc that's it so you can set your panel to be something else than the rest of your system this is surfing it's all colorful it's nicer when the icons are small than surfing is better than uh, Sarti. Sarti gets blurry when it gets too small. They're all based on SVGs, but these are not uh, circular. And that's the advantage. All right, LXUT. We know, we like it, we love it, but I'm gonna log out. Yes. Mate. And we're on Mate. Preferences, look and feel, appearance, 
Let's go for Blackbird. Yeah, probably my choice. And customize it further on with a window border. Not okay. Icons. Not okay. Let's go for. Show you another one. Slightly flat. We know now the icons will be the same everywhere. Still the same system. But it's a flat icon theme. Which gives us this kind of look. A strange theme, this line. But it's okay. Shut down, cancel, log out is what I want. Lo oh, again, I missed it. Log out. There you are. Log out. I'm just going through the motions. Maybe people just want to see what Deviant has to offer. We know for Sadia and Surfing, I've done my work, I know what to do. Three, four icons that I should fix. And this is not kicking in, which means we actually. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is it. This is open box. Some of them have icons, others do not. Which is a bit strange. It's either or, I would think, but it's not. Let's take this guy. So we can have a theme. Nightmare. <laughs> uh, what naming, right? Orange. Nice, 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 nice. Traditional, okay. So, all kind of themes, but that is theming. Where are my icons? Do I have inutilities? It's not alphabetically anymore here. That's too bad. I want to find Alex appearance or something equivalent to set the open box icons. But as you see, it's gonna, it's horror. It's really is horror. If you install eight or nine desktop systems in one go, then you really don't know anymore what application is there to set this thing. Because this is LXQT configuration center. Of course it won't work on a box. So I guess I'm stuck. So getting out here, exit. And then plasma. Let's have a look at Plasma. Login. That's working. I remember last time it, it didn't work with all these different kind of desktops. I remember Plasma just saying, kicking the bucket and saying, whatever. So that works. And that's in the system settings. You go, double click, and the icons. Wait for it. it, needs to load up a lot of icons, but yeah, Plasma is a bit special as we all know. Um, look at that, it will start PC Man FM QT, which is actually something from Alex QT. So, no, we're gonna install File Manager, Ctrl H, and then we are going to dot icons. Where are you? There. Control A, Control C. Like I said, it's a bit special. You need to go to local share and it's going to mimic the user share. So I'm going to make myself a new folder in here. Shouldn't be dot icons, should be just icons because it's mimicking user share icons. And we're going to put everything in here, close this guy up, go back. Go to system settings, maximize icons and action. We have the Sally Flexible Arc. We're going to use that one. Apply. Now we'll see what happens because applying icons is not always that straightforward. You see, everything is still the same. I say rubbish. No, not rubbish. Log out, log in, log out. And even a reboot is sometimes necessary. I think it was just still copy pasting all the stuff over. Uh, might have been too fast there, but 
hate VirtualBox. Who cares? So, yeah, it's all blue. It's all blue. It's all blue. That's one I need, we still need to fix there. The Meteor thingy and the system settings are looking all bluish. And desktop. So, actually, I was thinking there is just these two guys. Whoa, that's it. Cursor always takes a little bit longer. It's also in our case. At Linux, where it, it, it takes a while before all the cursors are there, but once they're there, I'm gonna go for my breeze now. You know that already, and that's it. And I leave it at that splash screen. Don't really like it. Why? It just uh, takes longer for me to be able to work. It's nice, but I want to boot up and work rather than watch something go on there. And uh, desktop effects. I wonder if the wobbly is available. So some of the things are not yet available. Why exclude desktop effects not supported by the compositor? Click. That is my wobbly. So if you install this in a virtual box, no wobbly for you. Get out of virtual box, install it on the real machine. Then you can wobble all you want. Just make it a little bit of fun. And a little bit of conversation of course. Uh, logout. And then last but not least, our beloved XFC. Use default config, so you maybe have never seen this, but if if you are really if you don't have any XFC um, data on your machine, it's gonna ask you a question. Use default. And it's gonna be in here and up there. That's how XFC normally looks. And of course, everything is available all icons are here for all the systems so settings is that my appearance uh, no, no, no. yeah i think so this is xfc i think yep we're waiting for the loading up all the icons i think we're good we could go for a surf and arch blue something different There's this one we still need to wait for that one do we Why did it not change that one? Logout, login, who knows? Because XFC normally does that in one go. That's why I'm a bit surprised. Uh, okay, we need to log out and login, fine. It's maybe due to the fact that we have eight desktops. Uh, it's a possibility. So there you are. Now you've seen everything, I believe. I think. don't think I, well, it it was just one, eh? Log out. I couldn't set the cinnamon, but that's okay. We've seen it all. These are all the desktops that you are, have available on Debian. And I'll make sure that these three icons will be fixed. Alright, cheers!